Aloha, it's Kanaka Yav Yav, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Michael J. Miskey Jr., convicted of racketeering, murder, and 11 other felony charges, must forfeit assets totaling over $20 million. Miskey's assets include properties, boats, exotic cars, and artwork. The forfeiture decision follows his conviction in U.S. District Court. Assistant U.S. Attorney Ken Sorensen said this is Hawaii's largest individual forfeiture case. Miskey's sentencing is set for November 26, where he faces a mandatory life sentence. The forfeited assets will be sold with proceeds potentially going to victims as restitution. The Maui County Planning Commission supports Mayor Richard Bisson's proposal to phase out around 7,000 short-term vacation rentals on the Valley Isle. The plan, if approved by the county council, will ban short-term rentals in about 2,200 West Maui properties by July 1, 2025, and the rest by January 1, 2026. This measure aims to address the housing crisis intensified by the August 8 wildfire that destroyed 3,500 homes in Lahaina. The proposal has sparked strong public opinion, with supporters emphasizing the need for affordable housing and opponents citing potential economic losses. The county council will hold public hearings before making a final decision. In a tragic case, a nine-year-old developmentally disabled Hilo girl, Shaylin Lehano Stone, starred to death in 2016. Child welfare services had been involved with her almost from birth. Despite being placed in foster care four times, she was repeatedly returned to her abusive parents and grandmother. The girl's parents, Kevin Lejano and Tiffany Stone, and grandmother, Henrietta Stone, systematically deprived her of food, water, and medical care. All three pleaded no contest to manslaughter. Henrietta Stone's sentencing is now set for September 12, with prosecutors seeking a maximum 20-year prison term. A civil suit filed by the girl's aunt remains active. A new bill, Bill 39, proposed by City Council Chair Tommy Waters, aims to streamline Honolulu's building permit process by eliminating the need for notarized affidavits. Currently, applicants must submit sworn statements declaring no outstanding fines or liens. Don Takeuchi Apuna, DPP director, supports the measure, citing it as a burden for both applicants and staff. The new Clarity software, part of a $5.6 million project, will help flag properties with violations, making affidavits unnecessary. The zoning committee voted to advance Bill 39 to the full council for a second reading. In a move to ensure its safety, the endangered Hawaiian monk seal pup born on June 20 at Sand Island State Recreation Area will be relocated to a more remote Oahu shoreline. This male pup, named Ili Ili, is the 15th offspring of the famous monk seal mom, Rocky. NOAA Fisheries announced the relocation, set for just before weaning at five to seven weeks, due to the high-risk environment of Sand Island. The area is frequented by campers, fishermen, and beachgoers, posing significant risks for the curious pup. Officials from state and federal agencies, along with the Hawaii Marine Animal Rescue, are working to protect the seals from human interaction and other dangers. Head to the nearest 7-Eleven to find the new Coca-Cola Spiced and new flavors for Rainstorm. Citrus Zest, Guava Strawberry, Mango, and Strawberry Apricot. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.